Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing your general love reading for the month of August. Before I get started, because I forgot in the last video, I want to give a special shout out to some of my followers, my subscribers who have been rocking with me and sent me these beautiful gifts. I'm using this deck today in the reading at the end, the Zodiac Oracle um deck thank you spirit for this deck i spoke to you yesterday i think it was but thank you so much for this deck and also i think it was rosario martinez sent me this divine abundance deck and i think you sent it along with this as well if you didn't please correct me in the comment section thank you guys um for sending me gifts from off of my wish list thank you so much um I'm from the gym, fresh from the gym, guys. One thing you know about me, I'm show up with a full face of makeup on or a do rag on. So <laughs> I don't know. You never know what you're gonna get with me. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started into this oh this love reading for the month of July. I forgot to pull out the uh, lovers oracle. I'm gonna use that first today. I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are safe. If you didn't watch um, the monthly for the general reading that is up, you can go ahead and look at that. Um, also, I will be announcing the winner this evening for the giveaway for July. Okay, let's see what else. So do not uh, enter anything on this reading. The, I will announce when you can start entering for the month of August, okay? So let's get started. I'm going to pull for the overall energy um, and love for you in the month of August for the Aries. Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Angels. Please allow me to deliver a clear message for Aries for the month of August. What is the energy surrounding them in love? Thank you. Okay, what is the energy surrounding them <clears throat> in love in the month of August? What is the energy surrounding? All right. All right. So put this here. <clears throat> So, wow, we have twin flames. Your passion ignites overall energy. So maybe you guys may be coming into union with a twin flame or dealing with a twin flame energy here. Very passionate, fiery, hot connection. A lot goes on between the twin flame uh, and the twin flame union here. Now, this card just may be... Um, depicting that this connection is going to be a very passionate connection. This person maybe that you are going to be joining with or are connected with feels like your other half. Now, I always tell people, you know, the twin flame journey is very, it's a very difficult journey. Most people don't end up with their twin flame, but I feel like in this deck, I don't think they're really referring to the twin flame journey. I think they're just speaking of somebody here who you're going to be very deeply connected with okay so we'll see if this is a new person or this is someone that you already know i'm going to pull from the light seers deck i did this for the general reading i want to do it again and i pulled out the major arcanas and i just want to get the overall energy of august in love so i'm just going to be using major arcanas to see what the overall energy is for the month of August. These are gonna be very important elements in August here. Big situations that you're gonna be dealing with. All right, so let's see here. What is the energy for Aries in August? So we have the judgment, releasing. I'm going through an awakening maybe as well. So let's see here. What other energy do we have for August? Okay, the magician, manifesting, creating your reality here. Okay, so let's see here. And one more card for the month of August. Oh, wow, beautiful. So we have the sun. Beautiful. This is this is Leo energy as well. This is a beautiful, positive energy overall on your month of August and in this love situation going on here. So this, wow, I can't wait to see what's going to happen here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant as well, okay? 
So I feel like that somebody here, this energy, this could be in a, a releasing as well. You may be releasing your, you know, the past or your old self or shedding something from you because this judgment card here, it's like she's finally letting go of something. Okay. And this could just have to do with you, Aries. It doesn't have to do with your person. This could be you, you know, releasing something from you, the old way of thinking, the old way of doing things, lessons that you've learned. You're finally purging this old self so you can bring in and manifest new. The magician talks about creating new beginnings and using what you already have, what you've already learned to create something new and better. And the sun is saying that is exactly what's happening. Okay. It's going to be better. And if even if you're dealing with the same person, maybe you guys are finally coming to a point where you're releasing um, the past. You're releasing negativity between you two. Okay. So let's see here. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? I'm going to pull um, some romance angels before I get into the Celtic cross. All right. Let me pull two cards for Aries for the month of August. What do they need to see? Maybe three cards, okay. What do they need to see for the month of August? This energy that surrounds them in love. Okay, too many cards fell. What is the energy that is surrounding Aries in love? So we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, so somebody may be traveling to see you or they may be at a distance. You guys could be reconnecting. Let's see what else. Could actually be going on a trip with someone. All right, so what do we have here? For Aries for the month of August. So we have retreat, another indication of getting away or disconnecting. It's time to disconnect from the world, even travel again. So moving forward, what else do we have for Aries in the month of August? Thank you. All right, so we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And at the bottom of the deck, we have new love. Okay. So, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So I just want to show you here, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant and new love. So this could be the change that you have been waiting for, Aries, in love. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already shuffled. The bottom of the deck was the Ace of Cups, so another indication of new love. So, let's see here. What is the situation that Aries is dealing with? Does that want to come out? In okay, so what is the situation that Aries is dealing with in August in love? What is the situation that Aries is dealing with in August? Okay, so justice here, things balancing out for you. Or the justice card comes out, there was a bit of unfairness before, right. But now things are coming to a balance for you. The truth has been revealed in a situation and now you're being able to see things more clearly. You may be dealing with a Libra as well. Some of you may be releasing yourself from a very toxic situation or marriage because we do have this hier hierophant and going through a divorce. Okay, sometimes the uh, justice talks about legal documents, um, paperwork being signed, but overall, it's just the energy of fairness and balance and truth. So, also, I want to say this that somebody here, it could also do with karma, okay? It also could do with karma. So, things, and I feel like here with this judgment card, there is a release of letting go of something. And sometimes when we let go of burdens and, and, and difficult situations, we get out of the way for karma to allow itself to unfold, good or bad, whatever it may have been. Okay. So, let's see here. What is the challenge in love for an August? Wow, four of wands, happiness, stability. This is also the twin flame card here. So this may be been a challenging dynamic here in this twin flame relationship. 
right? Things may not have been fair. Things may not have been balanced between you two. And you may not have been able to see eye to eye. Now, if this is the twin flame that you, you know, may have had a difficult situation with, you may not have been able to see or get on solid ground together. And I just want to reiterate that, you know, maybe this is referring to that twin flame journey. Okay. Twin flame journeys are very difficult. Okay. Sometimes if you're thinking about somebody who, you know, you say you went through a very difficult relationship and now you have somebody new and they make, you know, I'm not saying twin flames don't make you happy or stuff like that. But what I'm saying is you usually don't end up with a twin flame. And I really like people to understand that they're usually here to bring lessons. It's not all the time you can, you know, just saying that this person ascends and you get to a solid ground and, you know, this person is on the same level as you, then yes. But I know a lot of people ask in personal readings, is this my twin flame? And it's like, you know, they get excited, like, oh my God, is this my twin? And it's like, well, maybe it is, <laughs> but, but that's not the end all be all. Okay. And there's many, it's the twin flame is just another word for a soulmate and soulmates are just as beautiful, right? And you want to end up with somebody who you're on a soul level, a soul connection with anyways. Okay. So anyway, so let's go ahead and see here. What does spirit want you focused on right now in this period in love? Okay. Healing your heart. Three of swords here. So yeah, this is that difficult situation. There may have been somebody who put you through the ringer, right? And now with this justice card, a lot of truths and clarity is being revealed, okay? The swords represent truth. The swords represent communication. It also re represents the lies that were told and now you're being able to get the truth of the matter. And that's why it's going through the heart because sometimes those truths really hurt. But this is what it's saying is that areas that you need to look at those truths, you need to look at the truths and not the passion, okay? The passion can be very blinding. The truths are what allow you to make the most, the best decisions for yourself and moving forward, okay? So I feel like right now is the period of time to heal whatever hurt or pain that this person has put you through. And I feel like that is, is bringing, to you, bringing you to a balance right now, okay? So let's see what happened in the past. All right, we have two cards that came out. We have the Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Big change. So you decided that it was time to move forward from a situation. You had enough lessons. You learned a lot. And that's why I told you, you know, the, the Twin Flame situation, it usually is where you learn a lot. You learn a lot about yourself. You learn a lot about who you are in relationships. You learn about what makes you tick. You learn about what you want and what you do not want. And so you've been through a very difficult cycle here in the past and you're finally choosing new areas. And this woman here is moving forward. She's moving in the new direction and she's leaving this other option behind, right? This may have been a very difficult period in your life. Oh, wow. Five of wands here, five of swords, 10 of wands here. Very difficult period in your life where you felt like you really struggled to make the situation work. You really put a lot of effort in. And whoever I'm speaking to, I feel like you put most of the effort in, okay? You put most of the effort in and this person was just not meeting you halfway, so you decided to make some big changes in your life. All right, I think that's why this Four of Wands here was in the challenge. This was a very challenging twin flame um, relationship. Okay, let's see here. What is crowning Aries? The Hanged One. You're in a deep period, deep time of reflection right now. So you may be at a standstill as well. We have the two of swords here. It's a stalemate blocking your heart, waiting to make a decision here. But this is a great place to be in Aries, okay? Because after the hang one, then it comes to a period where you actually can move forward. But right now you're reflecting, you're thinking about what has happened to you, what you've been through, and how it's going to make you a better person moving forward, okay? You could be dealing with Pisces. We have Pisces, Libra energy here. And some swords and some wands here, okay? So let's see here what's moving forward. Let's see here. Before I move on, I'm hearing like I need to clarify the hanged one. So let's clarify the hanged one and see here why you are, you know, here in this period of waiting in limbo, rather.
So we have the hanged one. What is this? Three of Pentacles. You're working on yourself. You're working on your future as well. A lot of you really have taken this difficult situation serious, okay? Let's say this, that you've been through a period of difficult situations. But this last one, this twin flame that you went with, that was the one that really shook you up. And it was meant to, okay? You probably went through a long cycle of really bad relationships. But this last one was the one that you really couldn't get away from. And you weren't supposed to get away from them until you learned these lessons, okay? The three of pentacles here. Now you're finally able to build a better foundation in love. Now you're able to give real love, right? Before, you may have been very... Uh, broken or you weren't even loving yourself so you couldn't give the love that you really wanted to receive here the queen of swords though now she's in a very protective mode she's blocking her heart and she sees the truth here um, some say she's bitter I don't think she's bitter I just think that she is very serious about protecting her peace and her heart and she wants to make sure that you are the best person or the best suited person for her and so that's why you might be waiting around areas, waiting for, um, I don't want to say waiting, but you're just like, you're going through an enlightenment period. Let's see what else we have. The nine of wands here, very guarded, very hurt, but I do think you're working on this Aries. Whoever this is, you're not just sitting around being hurt and, and being a victim. You are trying to better yourself to move forward. And it could be, this is somebody here who may be divorced or going through a divorce. Because, yeah, we have the King of Swords here and the Queen of Swords. So let's see here. Moving, what's coming for Aries in the future? Wow. Okay, beautiful. So we have the Ace of Swords. We also have the Ace of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So Ace of Swords, a victory. New beginning after a difficult situation, right? It's finally, it's been a difficult one. Okay, so because when the Ace of Swords comes up, it means you just got over that Ten of Swords. You had to put something to rest, but now you're seeing truth. You're seeing things clearly now, right? And you're coming out on top, really, Aries. It's the person who walks away always wins. You know, people think that they're doing themselves, they're doing the right thing by trying to stick it out during a diff difficult situation. But really, most times you're ignoring your intuition to leave. You're ignoring your intuition to go and do something, uh, to find something better. Uh, I don't know where, you know, I guess, I guess it's an old mindset. I guess you don't want to say I don't know where it came from because I don't want to talk too much. But, you know, in the past, more or less our grandparents or the older generation, it was admirable to stay in difficult situations and i know now people are being more educated and they're learning now that it's not okay to stay in healthy unhealthy situations so the victory is yours aries when you decided to walk away from this painful situation okay the three of swords is here so i don't want to downplay it like this wasn't a very um toxic situation we have the nine of wands here as well that's showing me that there's some form some element of toxicity in this i don't even want to clarify the three swords because we know that's always a bunch of bs too right cheating third party situations lying backstabbing it's it wasn't pretty but you're healing from it now so what is the energy aries is in in august in love there we go so at the bottom of the deck, three of wands, moving forward in a positive direction, waiting for your ships to come in. And here you are, Aries, walking away, leaving that BS behind, right? And walking into something new. I think this is really just highlighting here that somebody here, this twin flame journey that this person has been on has really run its course. Okay, it's run its course and now justice here is taking place. Now things are being balanced and fair for you. Okay, you're walking away from these emotions that no longer serve you and you're going to search for this cup. Okay, this wish fulfillment. So that's beautiful. Let's see here what's in your environment. We have two aces here. So it's indicating that Aries, you are about to have a new beginning for sure. 
And that's what the judgment here. You're releasing, you're purging, and now you're manifesting something new. With the, with the sun here, whatever this new thing is, Aries, I think it's going to be exactly what you want. You need to make your mind up now to leave the paths behind and go forward. There he is. See, this is what's waiting for you, this king of cups. King of cups. Somebody very mature. Somebody very grounded in their emotions. They're going to love you the right way. Okay? They're going to love you the right way. And look at that. They're holding that cup too. Ready. Waiting. That's beautiful. The bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant and the Lovers. Okay? So there might be somebody here. This might be your next big relationship coming, Aries. All right. So what are you hoping for? All right. The Death card here. That this stuff is finally behind you. It's finally ended, right? Endings bring new beginnings. The death card came out in the general reading as well. So even though that reading was general, I think it's still the same energy that's showing up here. This is just more focused on love. But I think a lot of people are going through very big transformations in their lives that are bringing in beautiful new beginnings. I think a lot of people have gone through a very difficult period in their life. Could have been 10 years, right? The Wheel of Fortune is 10 and it's been bad relationships, bad jobs, um, just bad, <laughs> okay? But I think we're finally putting it behind us. Yes, there's a 10 of swords here. So there's a new beginning coming after the 10, after the difficult situation. And I just explained to you guys what the 10 of swords is. I think you're finally putting this situation behind you, Aries. And I just wanna reiterate, it was not easy. This was not something easy to do. another 10 wow 10 of wands okay i like this this means that you're dropping it all it's like finally somebody has had enough we do have 10 10 10 you finally had enough you finally tired of being in a one-sided relationship you're tired of being lied to you're tired of being backstabbed and cheated on you're tired of being the one that carries this whole relationship right and so you're finally moving forward and after the tens come the aces Let's pull one more card. There you go. So there's your wish fulfillment. You being in this energy, eight plus one is nine. And that's what happens here. You are getting your wish fulfillment. You're getting everything that you're, you've are you been hoping for. Everything that you've been looking for in this person. And this person is finally about to come in somebody new. Okay. And I think you're going to be, you've been taking care of yourself. You've been healing yourself here. I don't see at this point that this person here is coming back in for you. If maybe this is something that's already happened and you put it to rest. We have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So they may have come in the past or recently, but I think you shut them down. That's why we have the Justice card here. Things are finally about to be balanced for you, Aries. So this is beautiful. Let's pull a few from um, the Island Time Wallace. So we have abundance that came out here. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. So it could be talking about material finances, but abundance could be a lot of things. And I feel like you're finally about to elevate Aries now that you're leaving behind a very difficult situation here. So let's see what else we have. Some of you guys' finances are getting better. Because of this, we have mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, reflection, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. Okay. And one more. Tell us a little bit more about this. Okay, so hands of card, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand gambling. So I think this person played a lot of games with you, Aries, and you're finally over it, right? You're moving forward. I think some of you may have been scared or maybe been afraid 
to, you know, take a risk or take a chance on something new. I think a lot of people stayed in this connection or in this relationship. For one, you probably thought, you know, this is my twin flame, so we should just stay together. And others of you were just like, were afraid of what was to come. I mean, that's all fear is, is unknown. What you don't know, a lot of people fear what they don't know or what they can't see coming. But what's coming towards you is stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. Right? A lot of you, I feel like, are going to be doing much better in life now that you're done using the excuse of, you know, this is my twin flame, so I should be here. Because you now you have new love coming into you. Now you have a soulmate coming towards you. A very loving energy. And I feel like this next new phase or this new person here is going to be everything that you wish that this person was. And that's why we take a chance. That's why we take risks, okay? You don't want to be you know, at the end of your rope and, you know, 30, 20, 30 years down the line and saying, man, I wish I would have left this person or I, I'm so unhappy with my life. And, you know, I wish I would have taken a chance on something new. If you're meant to be together, you'll be together. No matter if you break up, you'll find your ways back. You'll find your way back together. Okay. But for whoever this is, this is a very beautiful new beginning, a new journey here in love here. All right, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.